it's so good to see you again. I'm so excited to spend time with you again in your very own home. My name is Miss Ruthie and I'm very excited to share some of my favorite things with you today. So let's dive right in. We are going to get started on our yoga mat, but remember, if you don't have a yoga mat, no big deal. Just use the floor. You might want a carpet because it'll be a little nicer, a little gentler on your knees. But if you do have a yoga mat, here are our rules. The yoga mat stays on the floor. Our bodies stay on the mat. Whatever you do on one side, you will gotta do on the other. And the fourth rule, you will gotta have fun. Those are our four rules for our little um, fun time together to get our bodies moving and our breath moving and help to work those kinks out in this craziness of being kind of stuck at home. So we're going to make the most of it. Super excited to be with you. Pop on our yoga glasses today. Look around the room. See who's with you today. Ask a family member to join you. I think when we do these things together, it's way more fun. Put on those yoga glasses, zip them out to the side, and we like to say together, peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Now whisper. One more. Now close your eyes and say it right inside your own head. Say it to yourself. Say it to your heart. One more. Big breath in. And let it all the way out. Sometimes we can remind ourselves that when we take a big yummy breath in through our nose, we can breathe in and then breathe out all of our worries and our troubles. And when we breathe in, we're bringing, breathing in lots of love and light and good stuff. There was lots of sunshine today. Let's take a breath in and imagine that we're breathing in all of that great sunshine. Can we do it together? Ready? Big breath in, breathe in all that sunshine. And then we're gonna breathe out lots of love, ready? Awesome. One more time. Let's do it together. Big breath in. Breathe in all the sunshine. And breathe out lots of love. <sighs> nice job. So, today we're going to do a special breath together called your loving kindness breath. Loving kindness is what we should share with the world around us. We should share love and good things and peace and gentleness and all that great stuff. So we're gonna practice um, today by sitting up nice and tall, pulling our tummies in, stretching our the crown of our head way up to the ceiling, imagining that we're getting taller by the second. And we're gonna take a big breath in, and as you breathe in, you're gonna breathe lots of love in, ready? And lots of love out. This next time, I want you to breathe in and close your eyes and imagine that someone that you love you love them so much and they're standing right in front of you. Just imagine. Can you see them? Imagine that person is right in front of you. And I want you to breathe in. And as you breathe out, I want you to imagine in your mind that you are saying something nice. Something really kind and loving to that person that you love so much. Ready? Take a big breath in. And as you breathe out, picture that person that you love and you are saying something so kind to them. Ready? I'm going to give you a minute to do it. Take a big breath in. And then breathe out. Did you do it? Did you say something nice to someone that you love? Awesome. Now we're going to get a little trickier. Are you ready? Sit up nice and tall. Pull those tummies in. Stretch that head up to the ceiling, the crown of your head. It was the back part of your head. Pull it all the way up. Roll those shoulders back, big breath in. And as you breathe out this time, close your eyes and imagine someone, someone that maybe you don't know as well, or someone that maybe is alone or needs some extra love in their life. Maybe it's a neighbor who's all by themselves. Maybe it's a friend who's been sick for a long time. Someone that needs some special loving kindness sent their way. Imagine that that person is standing in front of you. Ready? Close your eyes. 
Imagine that person right in front of you. And you're going to breathe in lots of love in. And as you breathe all that loving kindness out, you are going to imagine that you're saying something so kind and loving to that person that needs to hear that. You're going to just imagine that you're saying something to them that they really would like to hear. Ready? Let's do it together. Big breath in. Long breath out. Imagine that you're saying something so kind to that person. One more time. Big breath in. And breathe all the way out. Did you do it? Awesome. What a great way to practice sharing loving kindness to people all around us. That's very important. So good for you. All right. What we're going to do next, my friends, is we're going to talk about our brains. I love talking about our brain because our brain is so cool. It does a lot of stuff. But you know what? Our brain has the ability to help us make great choices and to choose to say nice things to people, right? So your brain can sometimes behave like a crazy monkey. Do you ever have those moments when you're feeling all crazy? Maybe it's right now because you're kind of stuck in your house and you're going crazy. That's okay. We all get crazy monkey brain once in a while, but we can learn to have control over that crazy monkey brain by taking some nice, calm, peaceful, loving kindness breaths like you just did or saying, how peace be with you today. We can get some control over that crazy monkey brain. You did a great job and I'm so excited to be able to share with you some of these tools to help us be just a little nicer to each other in the world. So, you ready to do some yoga? I am. Here's what we're going to do. I don't know if you've noticed, but it's almost springtime around here, right? The sun is shining and little buds are popping out on trees and in our gardens and I'm so excited. So, here's what I love about yoga. We can pretend that our body is different things, different animals and different things, and we can use our imaginations, which is another cool part of our brain, right? So we're going to use our imagination today, and we're going to make our body look like a seed. This is child's pose, and it's one of my favorite yoga poses. But we are going to make our body look like a seed stuck in the ground. So let's see if you can do that. You're going to sit on your, this is my favorite part. You're going to sit on your heels, and then I want you to take out your glue stick, right? You're going to open up your glue stick, take the top off, put it down on the ground, hold your glue stick with two hands, and you're going to squeeze glue onto the top of your legs and under your tummy. Don't forget your tummy. Put lots of glue. Be very generous with the glue. Put it all around. Put your cat back on. Put your glue stick over here on the other side, right? And then I want you to glue your tummy to your legs. Make sure that tummy is glued right to your legs. Ready? Here we go. We're gluing it down. Lots of glue. Sticky, sticky. Put your hands out in front of you and glue that tummy down to your legs. Just like this. I made my body look like a tight little seed in the ground. Can you do it? <sighs> nice job. So here's the thing. Seeds don't stay in the ground, right? They start to wiggle and grow ever so slowly up through the ground. We're going to do that too. So let's get in our seed. And then very slowly, I want you to start to spread your hands out, move your feet to the side, so slowly, like a seed growing in the springtime, all the way up so slowly onto our bottom, bringing our feet together. Just like a butterfly, we're going to use our imaginations and pretend we're a butterfly, flapping our wings, sitting up nice and tall, pulling that tummy in, tucking our chin. Look at those butterfly wings. Do you ever see butterflies in your garden? I do. I love to see them. So here we are in our butterfly. Now we're going to make our bodies look like a flower. Are you ready? Hands together. Dive them down like this and put them underneath your legs. And then we're going to tip back. Oh, hold those tummies tight. And we're going to blossom up just like a flower. Can you do that? Nice job. Oh, hold those tummies tight. We want to fall over, but don't. Hold those tummies tight. If you fall over, that's okay. Flowers do that sometimes. Ready? And then we're going to bring ourselves back down. Ah, nice job. Great work today. I love when I see young kiddos and families working together to move and to stretch and to grow. It's so good for our bodies. 
we sometimes sit and watch a lot of Netflix or TV. I do that too sometimes, but you need to move too. So we're going to move together today with one of my favorite songs, and it's called Yoga Makes Me Strong. If you're one of my friends that gets to see me every week in your classroom, then you probably know this song. And you know it's probably one of your favorites too. But if you don't know this song, here's how it goes. We are going to listen to this song, and we're going to do what it says together. And it's going to get us moving and grooving. We're going to do mountain pose, star pose, downward dog, all the, my favorite ones, right? All the best yoga poses. But I want to tell you about one special part of this song and it is the part where we laugh together. Did you know that laughing is yoga? It really is. Laughing is great because when you laugh you take a big breath in and then you take a big breath out. <laughs> right? Right? We take deep breaths and that is so good for your body and your brain. So there's a part in this song you won't want to miss it. It's usually everybody's favorite where we laugh together. So I want you to practice your laughing today. Big breath in and then when you breathe out, just laugh. It's so good for you. It helps us to get rid of that crazy monkey brain. Are you ready? Here we go. Yoga makes me strong. Ready? Stand up nice and tall. I took a hike up the big mountain. Yoga makes me strong. Yoga makes me strong. When night time came, I saw a star. I took a hike up the big mountain. Yoga makes me strong. Yoga makes me strong. A friend joined me and told me a joke. <laughs> when night time came, I saw a star. I took a hike up the big mountain. Yoga makes me strong. Yoga makes me strong. We took a long lost in oh, a chair. A friend joined me and told a joke. <laughs> when night time came, I saw a star. I took a hike up the big mountain. Yoga makes me strong. Yoga makes me strong. A doggy joined me for my walk. We took a long rest in a chair. A friend joined me and told me a joke. <laughs> Nighttime came, I saw a star. I took a hike up the big mountain. Yoga makes me strong. Yoga makes me strong. A cat jumped a cat. up on my shoulder. Meow, 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 meow. A doggy joined me for my walk. We took a long rest in a chair. A friend joined me and told me a joke. <laughs> when nighttime came, I saw a star. I took a hike up the big mountain yoga. Makes me strong, yoga makes me strong. Then came, came a cow to join the fun. Oh, 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 oh. A cat, cat. Up on my shoulder, meow, 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 meow. A doggy joined me for my walk. We took a long rest in a chair. A friend joined me and told me a joke. <laughs>
Um, such a great job. She was that such a fun song. And did you notice all the breathing that we did with all the laughing? Oh, that's why it's one of my favorites. So here's the thing. That was so great and so good for you to get moving and grooving when we're probably spending a lot more time sitting around. And you know what? We should be moving and grooving. It doesn't matter if you're two years old or if you're 102 years old. Our bodies are meant to move. And you know what? Laughing is pretty awesome. We don't just need to laugh in the Yoga Makes Me Strong song. Find ways to laugh all day long and know that you are doing some of your best breathing when you're laughing. So, oh, here's another one of the best parts of our day, and it is called the Peaceful Garden. And here's what we're going to do. Pardon me. My little friend, Freddy the Frog, has inside some of my favorite friends, little butterflies. And these butterflies like to come out and join us during Peaceful Garden. Peaceful Garden is when we get to lay down on our yoga mat. We get to lay down and put our little peaceful butterfly right on our tummy. Remember we sat with our bodies in butterfly pose? Now we have a very own butterfly and we're going to put it on our tummy and then we're going to lie down. And when you lie down, you're going to go so slow and stretch your body out long and put the butterfly on your tummy. And here's the thing, when the butterfly's on your tummy, it's a reminder to breathe in and let your tummy come all the way up and then breathe out and let it come down. Because breathing is so important and it helps us to relax. So I'm gonna turn on another one of my favorite songs. It's called Garden Dreams. There's no words, it's just peaceful. So what I want you to do is take a big breath in and let it all the way out. And be sure to roll all the way down and put your butterfly on your tummy if you have one. Now you may not have a butterfly, but I bet you have a Beanie Baby or a favorite stuffed toy. Maybe it's a truck, I don't know. But whatever it is, put it on your tummy and see if you can breathe in and breathe out and let it go up and down on your tummy as you breathe in and out. And then, you know what I want you to do? Just relax. So we'll lie here. And we're going to put our arms up over our head. And squeeze, squeeze, squeeze as tight as you can. And then let your arms float down so slowly. And you're going to pick up one leg. Squeeze those toes. Squeeze that leg. And then float it all the way down. Now pick up the other leg. Squeeze, 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 squeeze and float it all the way down. Now I want you to tighten your tummy. Big breath in, tighten, 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 and let it all the way out. Now I want you to tighten all the muscles in your face, squeeze it so tight, and then relax. Take one more big breath in through your nose, and let it all the way out. Now I want you to stay there. But I'm going to sit up because I'm going to read something to you while you stay in your peaceful garden. And it's called the Loving Kindness Balloon. Are you ready? Make sure you're comfy and cozy. Keep that deep breathing. Imagine that you have the biggest balloon in the world. Imagine you have the biggest balloon in the world. It can be any color that you'd like. Imagine your favorite color. Biggest balloon in the world. Now imagine that you want to give this balloon to someone that you love. Mm, imagine that person in your mind. Take a deep breath in and blow out, imagining that you are filling that balloon with love. Big breath in. And as you breathe out, you're filling up your big balloon with love. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Keep breathing in and out, filling up your balloon. Tie a string around the bottom when it's full. Is it full? Tie a string, make it tight. Hold on to that string and feel this giant balloon lift you off of the ground. The balloon is so big that it can fly you anywhere around the world, right inside your imagination. 
imagine that the balloon carries you all the way over to that person that you love. And you know what you're going to do? Imagine that you're giving that balloon to them and feel how happy that they are to receive this gift from you. Just imagine. Take a big breath in and let it all the way out. Now, if you're lying down, I want you to roll over onto your side so slowly and then push your way all the way back up to sitting. Nice job. And I want you to take one more big breath in through your nose and let it all the way out. Bring your hands together at the heart. Namaste.